today. I'm here today to give you a few painting tips. Painting windows, doors and trims can be a bit fiddly, but if you set yourself up with the right equipment and prepare your surface as well, you'll get a great result. If it's a new surface, you need to apply a good primer for the paint to adhere to. The same applies for oil-based painted surfaces. You will need to fill any imperfections with an interior-based filler and sand smooth once it's dry. If the surface is being repainted, lightly sand away any imperfections and the old paint can work well as an undercoat. Use sugar soap to remove any dirt or grease. For windows, simply place strips of masking tape along the edges of the window. This lets you paint smoother strokes without the worry of having to scrape the glass clean afterwards. Use masking tape to protect any surfaces next to the trim you're painting. But make sure you choose a quality masking tape so it doesn't bleed or peel once the paint is dry. Now, which paint to use? Enamel paints are recommended for doors, windows and trim as the finish is tougher and easier to clean. Water-based enamels can save you time, they have a low odour, they're water cleanup, and have faster recoat times. My tip, always follow the advice on the paint can regarding recoat times before applying the second coat. Now you're ready to paint, so make sure you're using the right brush or roller. If in doubt, check our how-to video on choosing the right painting equipment at mitre10.com.au. When painting trims and skirting boards, always work from the top down and work with long, smooth strokes. Paint door trim and window frames first, then do your skirting boards. Once the second coat is dry, you can remove the tape and the job's done. The best way to paint doors is to remove them from the hinges. Take off the handles and set it up on trestles and prepare it well, the same way you did with window trims. Remove any flaky paint, fill any imperfections, sand back and give it a thorough wash with sugar soap. Once it's dry, you can start to paint. Paint any decorative pieces first. Smooth the paint along any grooves and into the corners. Then paint the rest of the door. Paint rollers can also be used to apply enamel paint. Generally, a short six mil pile is recommended to achieve a very smooth and time-saving finish. Roll in the same direction to achieve the smoothest finish possible. Once the first coat is dry, turn the door over and do the same to the other side. Then lightly sand and apply a second coat to both sides. Once it's dry, reattach the door hardware or Pick up some new door handles and hinges from your local Mitre 10, then rehang the door. So there you go. Now you can confidently freshen up your windows, doors and trim. And finally, here's a quick memory checklist. One, prepare the surface properly. Two, carefully mask up. Three, apply the paint evenly. Four, remove the door to repaint. Five, pop into your local Mitre 10. Remember, DIY should be fun. But if you need some mighty helpful advice with a project at your place, large or small, drop into your local Mitre 10.